Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create your own professional LinkedIn banner or cover image, and this will help you attract more potential recruiters, headhunters, and make your LinkedIn profile much more professional so people are more likely to hire you for jobs that you apply to or reach out to you if they are interested in hiring you for a job related to your skill set. So first of all, what is LinkedIn? Well, LinkedIn is the world's largest professional network on the internet. And in one of my recent tutorials, I taught you how to find remote jobs or any sort of job with LinkedIn in 2022. If you check the description below this video, you can see links to other videos related to LinkedIn that I have created. So make sure to watch that video to find out how to apply to jobs. But in today's video, we're going to focus on making your profile much more professional and appealing by making a professional banner image. So in this video, you'll learn how to create a beautiful banner for your profile completely for free to attract potential recruiters and look more professional. I'll show you the image specs that you need for your LinkedIn pages. And I'm going to show you how to use Canva completely for free to create beautiful banners, either from a template or from scratch. We will create two different banners in this video. So these that I'm showing you now are some of the templates that you can use in Canva and you can completely customize them according to your needs. So let's get started. So first of all, the LinkedIn sizes that you need to know is the cover photo, which is 1584 by 396 pixels. You will need this if you are creating your banner image from scratch. So if you look here, this is my banner. This is one that I want to update. But what you can do is if you want to get an idea of what other people's banners look like, you can go here and type in, for example, transcriptionist. And here, click on people. And so if someone is hiring and someone wants to hire a transcriptionist, for example, and they're looking for people who do this for their job, they're gonna click on one of these people and this here is their cover image. Now this guy just has an image of a keyboard, so it's relevant to what he's doing. But a lot of people don't have any cover image whatsoever. I typed in social media managing or marketing. You can see this girl has nothing. This is just the standard banner image that LinkedIn sets for you. This woman as well, and she's also a social media marketing assistant. Now, if I was looking to hire someone as a content creator, you can be sure I would want to hire someone that has shown their skill set by creating a professional banner image. There are so many of them that do not have it. Now, this girl just has a very basic one. I guess she works for the radio, so she puts this, and that's fine. It's better than nothing. I'd be more likely to hire someone who had something like this or like this. Now, what we are going to do is go to canva.com. Now, Canva is completely for free. I do subscribe to the pro version of Canva. And if you are interested in signing up to Canva, you can do that by clicking on the link in the description below this video but you can still sign up to Canva and just use their free account. You don't have to pay anything to create beautiful, beautiful banners. Okay, so what we're going to do first is build a banner from a template. So you can click here on templates, and what we want to do is type in LinkedIn, and then go to LinkedIn banner. And this is going to show us over 6,000 templates that we can use as our banners. Now, some of these are pro, if they have this little crown here, this means that Canva Pro subscribers get this template for free. But you can see there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds that do not have any crowns, so you can use any of them and customize them completely with your own information and your own pictures. So you can just go ahead, browse through, find one that you like. I already know one that I like, and I'm gonna type in purple, pink, gradient, digital, and it's this one here, the purple pink gradient digital marker LinkedIn banner. So I'm going to click customize this template. Again, this one is completely for free. Okay, so let's say what your job is, is you are a social media manager. Right here, you're gonna click on it and you're gonna put in whatever your position is. So I'm gonna put in social media manager and you're gonna put in your email, socialblissmanaging.com for example. Now we can zoom up by going on this slider here. So what we would want to do 
is make this box bigger to fit the text. So to customize the box, just click on it and click on this little icon in the middle and drag it and then click on the text and do the same thing so it fits. You can actually shorten this a bit too. And then we'll want to do the same with the bottom rectangle element so it is in line with the other and you can see the little grid is going to show us so it's the exact same length. And then we're going to put in her name. So let's say Janine Cohen's social media manager. Now, obviously this is overlapping this a bit. So to move an element, we'll click it and just push, push it up. Or you can also just adjust this to wherever you want it. You literally just click and drag the elements. So they're positioned the way you like them. Okay, now what we can do is we wanna put our picture here. So what we're going to do is go to uploads, then click upload file and select the picture you want to put there. Doesn't matter if it's not the right size. Click on the picture and once it finishes uploading, we're gonna click and drag it into this image. Now you can see in this case it fit almost perfectly, but if you want to adjust the positioning, just double click on it and you can go like this to adjust the positioning or like this and drag on the sides if you want to zoom up on it or however you want. Let's say I wanna make it nice like this, show her a nice smile. Okay, good, there we go. So let's say Janine has the color of her branding, it's yellow and turquoise. Well, I want to change the way all of this looks so it's going to match with her brand. So let's click on the text first. We'll highlight it and click here to change the color. And what we'll do is click on the rainbow wheel here, and then you can select whatever color you want. Click on that. And I can do the same for all of the text. I wanna make all of the text uh, this turquoise color. You can also change the elements just by clicking on the element and then clicking here on color, and again, choosing that same turquoise color. Okay, now we want to change the background because it's this gradient sort of color. So you can click on the background and you can click and drag to adjust what the color looks like. Now you can see this is sort of like a gradient uh, pattern that she chose. And if you don't want this gradient pattern, you can just click on it and click delete on your keyboard or the delete icon here. And that will give us this blank slate. So from there, you could again, click on the color wheel and then choose whatever color you want from here. So now let's say we want to change some of these elements. You can click on any element that you want to change and then click on these color boxes here and change them to whatever you want. And you can do that with all of the elements. You can even change the color of the frame of her picture by clicking on it and then clicking on this white box here and then adjusting it and clicking whatever color you want for the frame. If you want to change the text type, just click on the text and then highlight it all and you can go here and choose whatever text that you like. Some of them are premium if they have this little icon, but if not, you can use any of the ones that you see. Okay, let's say that you want to actually add a gradient background instead of just this single color background. What you can do is click here on background and you can choose any of these patterns or gradients. We're gonna go here under gradients and choose see all. And you can see all of these different gradients that you can choose from. Actually, I'm really liking this one here. So I'm gonna choose that and then just change the font color here. And if you want to select a color from the image, you can highlight the text, click on text color, click on the color wheel, then click on the eyedropper tool, and then just go over wherever you want to use that color. So I'm gonna do that and then do the same with this font as well. You can also change the color of these boxes by just clicking on the box, clicking on the color wheel, and then selecting whatever color you want. So just have fun, experiment with the colors, experiment with the text until you're happy with your image. Okay, and finally, let's say I want to add a drop shadow so her name really pops out. I'm gonna click on it, click on effects, and here you can add a shadow, a lift, neon, glitch. You can have fun experimenting with any of these text effects. So I'm going to click here on shadow, 
and then you can choose the color of your shadow. And I really like that. You can adjust any of the settings you want, the blur, the offset direction. I think that's good. It, it pops out. Okay, so when you're finished and you're happy with how your banner looks, you're going to click share then click download and click download again. And it will save it as a PNG file, which is what we want. You can see we have this beautiful banner that we're ready to upload to our profile. So what we can do is go here and click on this icon and then click change photo, locate the photo we just saved. Okay, so then from here, what we're going to do is just click and drag it so that these are the bounding bars here. So it's gonna show you whatever is inside of here. So if any of these elements you need to adjust, you can push them up or down in Canva and download it again, just so it's perfect and just how you like it. Here, you can use any of these zoom tools if you need to, and they even have filters if you wanted to change the color, but I liked it as the original, how we created it in Canva. You can also click adjust as well and make any adjustments that you want right here in Canva. And then after that, you're going to click apply. Of course, I already have my banner, so I don't want to do that, but that is what you would do. Now, again, you might want to move the elements around a little bit because we do have our profile picture right here and you don't want these elements to be covered by the profile picture. So I would move them over a little bit to the right. Okay, now we're going to create a LinkedIn banner completely for scratch. This is one I am going to use on my profile. So we're going to open up Canva, click on custom size, put in for width 1584 by 396. Then click create new design. And the first thing I want to do is make a background color. So I'm going to click on the background, then click here on the color wheel, and then click here under document colors and choose whatever color I want. I already know the color code I want, so I'm going to paste that there, and this is the purple that I want. Now I want to add an element. I'm going to click on elements, go to lines and shapes, and click see all. I'm going to go down and click this shape here, and I wanna make like a two-toned, okay, so something like that looks good to me. Now I want to import my logo here. So I'm going to go to uploads, and upload my logo by clicking Upload Files. And then I'm just going to click and drag it wherever I want to place it. You can also adjust the size by clicking on the edge here. Uh, let's have it centered right, right there. You can also change the color of this shape by clicking on it and clicking on the color wheel here, but I like the purple that they already selected. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Now I'm going to go back to Elements and click on this little one here. And this has text that we can add in it. So first I'm going to drag to adjust the size and click on this button here to position how I want. Do something like this. And I'm going to type in voiceover artist and then highlight it and increase the size and also bolden it. You can also change the font if you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And I want to make a couple of these. So I'm going to click on it and then click on the duplicate icon and duplicate it twice and then move these beneath it. So I'm gonna have one that says voiceover artist, one is going to say content creator, and one will have um, my email. So as an example, this is not my real email, jen at myemail.com. Okay, I want to make sure this is centered. So I'm just going to, you can see right there, it shows me that, that this is perfectly centered between all three of them. And I can even click up here and drag to highlight all three and then position it so it's perfectly centered how I want it to be. Remember, we have the profile picture that is going to be here, so we don't want it to cover that. So I might just put it over here a little bit. Okay, now I want to add some icons. I'm going to go back to elements and here you can type in something like, let's say, microphone. Again, if you're doing something like your virtual assistant, you might type in Instagram and use an Instagram logo or something like that. I'm gonna click on this little microphone here and I'm going to click here to change the color to white. I'm going to just go like this and kind of make it, okay, I'm going to put in YouTube and here there's different YouTube logos we can use. I'm going to use this one here. Again, make it white and do the same thing, make it kind of a bit smaller. And then finally, I'm going to add an email 
logo. You might want to put your website, again, make it white or whatever color you want. So just play around with this until it's perfect. Okay, so I am happy with this for my banner. So now I'm going to go share, download, and then download. And now I'm going to upload this banner into LinkedIn. So we'll go over to LinkedIn. I want to replace it with the current banner that I have. Click here. Again, change photo. Okay, and you can see now it looks great. My profile picture is not covering the email or any of the content. And I think it looks much more professional than the one I previously had. And just having a banner like this will make you stand out from the crowd. It really does make you look so much more professional. And this is so helpful when you want people to contact you for jobs or when you are applying to jobs by searching in the job section. So thank you guys once again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I will see you in my next tutorial.